Evening everyone, this is Marshy, um, doing a bit for West Ham Fan TV. Literally just walked through the door from Burnley. Um, disastrous fucking away game, to be honest, to say the very least. Left with 25 minutes to go due to train cancellations, heading back to Preston. Um, and then as a result, heading back to London, Houston tonight. Um, that was a pain in the arse, but obviously done us a favour. What with what we were, you know, being served up today at Turf Moor. Um, you know, I think it leaves a lot to be desired, to be honest. I think Roberto's one massive problem at the club. Um, I think that he doesn't have a value against his name for a reason. Is he even a goalkeeper, you'd argue? Is he even a footballer, you'd argue, maybe? Um, we've lost 3-0. Three, uh, three goals are down to him. Um, the lead-up play is obviously not great, you know, from us in defence. Um, yet again, failed to defend set pieces, which obviously we're specialists at. Um, and we don't do ourselves any favours. Um, I think a lot... Lies on the manager as well tonight. I think um, this was a massive game going into it against Burnley. Um, obviously, as we know, they hadn't won a game in three and conceded 10 goals along the way. Um, we weren't too much better. Um, coming off the back of defeats to Newcastle, you know, George of Sheffield United. Um, you know, it's, just, um, it's worrying, to be honest. I think I don't think there'll be any movement with Pellegrini. I think I was asked, you know, how long would you give him? Um, if you would give him any extended time after today's defeat, which I wouldn't, to be honest. I think I'd have him out by Monday. Um, I wouldn't be too surprised if he's still our manager by Monday because, you know, it's going to take a lot to um, release him from his contract. You know, a lot of other names, um, you know, have gone about their way in today. You know, like Lee Bowyer, Scott Parker, Eddie Howe, um, you know, to name a few. None of which I imagine would leave, um, you know, and obviously while Pellegrini is still under contract, you know, that's... Uh, that's all just sheer talk for the hell of it, to be honest. Um, I'm totally embarrassed, though, you know, gutless performance, um, Spiner's performance. Um, you know, we only had two shots all game. Um, Roberto leaves a lot to be desired, obviously, you know. Um, how many more mistakes is he going to make? I mean, anyone that, you know, normally would make mistakes, it's how you come back and learn from them. But uh, Roberto just seems to be doing it, you know, week in, week out now, you know, last week against Newcastle, um, you know, Obviously flapping for two crosses and Newcastle get a couple of goals and then letting in the Shelby goal. And then today, you know, he's a he's a calamity fucking circus show, you know, like he's at fault for all three. Um, unsure what we're going to do there, to be honest with you. I mean, I did tweet on the way home tonight on the train back to Houston, tweeting about um, Dave Martin being given a go because at the end of the day, I see it, that what have we got to lose? Um, you know, it, it, it can't be any worse, basically, than what it is, you know, hearing about, obviously, Lanzini as well. Um, I was back on the road towards the station when I heard about Lanzini dislocating the shoulder um, or the collarbone or something like that. And, you know, he's out till March. I've been reading on the way back tonight. Um, Noble as well. I think if he's not fit for Tottenham in a couple of weeks' time, it'll be a big miss. Um, he seems to be someone that really ups his game. Obviously, he's a West Ham boy through and through, as we know. Um, knows what it is to play against teams like that. And, you know, if, if ever a game that you want him fit for, it's the home and away look, um, games against them. So, hopefully he'll be able to um, shrug it off. It's been reported, I think, it's just a twisted ankle, but uh, no doubt there'll be some x-rays or scans to to uh, doubly confirm that situation. I, I imagine that Manu's out for a, a longer period of time, being March is being spoken about. Um, but yeah, listen, it's another, it's an appalling away day. Um, start to finish, you know, you get certain aspects of it, you know, you're, you're running late to the game, you know, you've got to leave 25 minutes early. Not that we were going to come back because obviously the game was well dead and buried even at one and two, let alone three. Um, but, you know, certain little indicators, certain little pinpointers um, get the mind going. And, you know, I said to a few of the boys, I'm not even going to um, predict a scoreline today because, you know, you sort of know um, in the build-up, in the lead-up what's coming. Um, you know, even from the minute silence for the Remembrance Sunday, you know, even from that, um, which we observed, you know, very well, the whole ground did. And then uh, what followed that was just a, a total disgrace. And I think all of them should be ashamed to wear the shirt tonight um, or this afternoon even. Um, hopefully they'll get a dressing down. As I said last week after Newcastle, I'm not so sure Pellegrini's the man to do that. Um, but I'm not too sure how we push on from here, to be honest. I mean, we've got to get back into training, um, going into an international break now, um, which maybe you'd argue that we need, although I don't think we do because... Um, you know, albeit that's the way that the fixtures lie and, you know, you have international breaks for a reason and, you know, the, the, the country comes over the club side of it for a week or so, but, you know, we haven't really done anything to warrant a rest. Um, you know, I'd have all the players in, you know. Um, I heard a couple of the fellas sitting behind me talking about refunds, you know. Obviously, I'm not really one for that, but, 
if ever there was a game to indicate that should be the case, you know, the players' wages should cover the fucking cost of the the um of the support, you know. Um, support doesn't go unnoticed. Obviously, we pack out everywhere we go. We're loud everywhere we go. Um, and to be quite honest, we're just not we're not being served up the right stuff. You know, we're not league winners. We're not in the top four. We're not even in the top six. But you know, in, in order to be linked with breaking into that top six, you've got to be playing a desired sort of bit of football that um, people are going to be thinking. You know, West Ham are doing a little bit, and you know, going about their business sort of quietly, um, which I believe is the best way to go about it. And simply, we haven't done that. So. Uh, you know, big time players again, your Andersons, your Hallers, you know, weren't at the races yet again. Um, I don't know whether that's because they're just not interested in playing for this manager. Uh, maybe they go into it with a defeatist attitude and, you know, we don't prepare in the right way. Um, there's clearly something going on in the background of the club and, you know, hoping and wishing that someone will come out and, and start talking to us. You know, that's, that's the least that we deserve. You know, it will stop certain people talking about certain things and, speculating over the manager and you know he gets this amount a year and you know five million a year seven million a year um it's going to cost all amount of you know 12 or 20 million you know to offload his contract and pay him up um but you know I, I generally believe that a decision needs to be made sooner rather than later um due to the fact of you know how much longer are the owners going to see what we see and you know be continually slipping down the league i mean um i believe that we're in 16th place now and if Villa win tomorrow um then we're 17th, you know, a point above the drop zone, um, albeit early doors, you know, but as we all know, as football supporters, you don't want to begin the December calendar um, with the tough games that we've got coming up, you know, Tottenham at home, Chelsea away, Arsenal at home, um, even the games at Crystal Palace, Boxing Day, you know, I think we go to Southampton as well. Um, and they're, they're all tough games. That could always be a, a relegation battle against Southampton, you know, they're not playing the greatest football either, so... Um, to be talking about a relegation fight at the moment, you know, it's something that I don't think Pellegrini's, um, you know, I don't think that's where he, his strongest um, position is. You know, he, he's a winner. He's a has-been sort of thing, you know, been there, done it sort of manager, done it with Man City on his return to England. Um, rightly so, fair play to that, but you're dealing with a totally different kettle of fish, unfortunately, um, uh, in West Ham. You know, w w what you see is what you get with us and, you know, all that the team want to you know to hopefully do and strive for is to um play in a lot of the amount of football that shows that commitment and desire and all the supporters want to see is exactly that and you know play for the badge you know on the front remember the name on the back so uh you know going into an international break now um let's try and sort of recoup and maybe recharge a few batteries and go again soon